Today I'm going to be speaking to you about the Alpha Bevel and Bait Starter Kit. The key features of this system are, it creates a precise edge, whether mitered, beveled, or straight. It's perfect on all materials, including sintered slabs and thin porcelain panels. It transforms any polisher or variable speed grinder into a precision straight and beveled edge polishing tool. It's great for seamless countertop installations. It provides precision grinding for the perfect miter edge for book matching laminations. This kit includes the bevel and auxiliary base and its accessories, the carriage assembly for the bevel and base, guide rails, which consist of four, seven, and 12 foot lengths, together with the clamps, surface protection tape, protect the surface from any possible scratches. Next I'm going to demonstrate how to attach the bevel and base onto the carriage assembly. The key feature I want to pinpoint is the bevel and base has to make flush contact with the tabs in the back for alignment. So we're going to put the bevel and base onto the carriage. It's flush, it's solid, making full contact. Next we're going to take the two screws we're going to install them on the sides, like so. Next, we're going to take our knob bolts. We have two sets of knob bolts. We have two knob bolts that are, uh, that are long. These will be mounted and screwed on. Then we're going to take our clamping plate and knob bolt. Secure the back of the unit. That completes the assembly. Next we need to assemble one of the clamping bases. We have clamping base A, which is for 15, 30, or to 45 degree miter grinding, and clamping B for the 90 degree polishing. I'm going to use clamp A for the miters. I'm going to attach it to show you the procedure. We're going to take the screw. Our Allen key. Let's just screw one side in first. Take the second one. And that's the attachment process. Next, we need to choose which type of polishing tool or grinder we're going to use for our application. First, I like to attach the bevel and base onto the guide rail. It's going to make our uh, attachment process more simple. Now we need to choose which tool. We could use the pneumatic polisher. We could use our variable speed electric polisher or a variable speed electric grinder. The differences between these polishers are the pneumatic and the electric polisher, they both have central water fed systems. The variable speed grinder does not have any central water fed system. So what we need to do is actually add an external water feed system. The problem base has that. On the side of the unit, we have a water valve to turn the water on and off. And when the hose is connected, the water goes through the unit through the black hose, and the water sprays onto the spindle and the abrasive that we're using. What we do, we take the, the hose with the garden hose connection. This will be inserted to the water cock, and this will provide your external water fed system. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to attach your polishing tool or a variable speed grinder onto the bevel base. The way we do this, this is the universal adapter assembly. This will be screwed on the spindle of the tool, and I'm going to show you the uh, pneumatic polisher. So, we're going to screw the adapter onto the spindle. Use your wrench to fully secure it. Okay. 
So next, we want to take the universal adapter and we want to put it in the seat of the clamping base. And when you insert it into the base, you want to make sure that the adapter is flush against the clamping base. So we're going to insert it so it's flush, no space and no gap. We're going to make sure it's tight and secure. And next, we're going to take our bar here, put it against the polishing tool, and this acts like a stopper. So the tool only has one way to go, and it's stopped and locked in position. I'm going to quick demonstrate how we use our set gauges for alignment of the guide rail onto the material. So, we're going to attach the chasm to the guide rail. Now, if we were going to be doing a 45 degree grind, I'm going to loosen up my setting gauges, find a 45 degree, I'm going to tighten it up to the 45 degree on both sides. Once the set and gauges are secured to the carriage assembly, now we can push this forward. Now that the set and gauges are flush against the edge of the material, we know that the guide rail should be straight and level. Now we come back and secure the guide rail clamps. So now this is straight with the edge of the material. Next, we're going to remove our setting gauges and put them back on the carriage assembly for safekeeping for the next time we're going to use them. And that's how you, you use the setting gauges for alignment of the guide rail with the material.